Hello, and welcome to Esther's Gardening Adventures. I'm Esther, and today I thought I'd share something with you, a new discovery I had in my garden that has me so excited. I can't wait to show you. So by way of background, um, you know, this is my second year full season gardening. And so there's just a lot that I'm still learning about gardening and the different things the garden can bring to you. And you know, one of the things I had wanted to foster, if you've been watching my videos, you probably have a sense of this, is that I want to have a pollinator friendly garden. That means a garden where uh, bees and butterflies and yes, even wasps can flit around and also spiders and hopefully frogs and snakes eventually. You know, I don't want to run into them too often, but where they, we can have a good ecosystem of plants and beauty and happiness. I know I've planted plenty of flowers and all kinds of other things that native plants as well that hopefully will help foster that. But I had an unintentional thing that happened that is also fostering it. And for a half a second, I was like, but I don't know, but now I'm excited. So let me show you what I found. I planted cilantro and dill for a late summer harvest. And um, I came out this morning and I saw the several of these caterpillars on the dill. And I know that um, swallowtails and other um, beneficial butterflies really love dill. Look at this guy, he's eating away. Chomp, 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 chompity chomp. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's almost done with that whole leaf. Anyway, there's, I'd say there's probably four that I've seen on this plant so far. And I, so I did Google image search and it is a Eastern swallowtail variety. This is what they look like when they're young, young. And then I think they get that beautiful um, green and, and white stripes later on before they turn into a chrysalis. Uh, but either way, um, <clears throat> Most likely that is what the case is here, and so I am probably not going to get a dill harvest this year. But if it means that I'm supporting the swallowtail butterflies in the area, then you know what? I'm okay with that. Well, that was two days ago, and I was worried because yesterday we had the remnants of Hurricane Ida come through. Now, we weren't affected near as bad as some other states, like in the south or even north of us, um, and and... For those people who were affected, I hope you have a quick recovery and that you didn't suffer that much damage. Um, but on a much smaller scale, I was worried my little caterpillars would have been possibly damaged by the heavy winds and rain. I know they're out in nature, they're used to it, but you know, I got nervous. So I came out this morning, so I have this week off work and it's gorgeous this morning, by the way. It's like 65 degrees, breezy, sunny, I mean, you couldn't ask for more, right? So I came out this morning to do my gardening. And the first thing I did, I made a beeline for my dill patch to see how my little caterpillars are doing. And lo and behold, they have switched to the next stage in the development. And now they look much more like sort of the iconic butterfly caterpillars. So let me show you what I found. You can see here this one just emerged from its um, prior stage. See the uh, little black skin behind it of its former self? Beep. Just came out probably in the last 20 minutes. So I did some research then two days ago and again today I checked and it looks like these are probably the black swallowtail variety of butterfly and I'll show you a picture here of what they look like. These are really, really beautiful butterflies and their wings are sort of a little bit, have a little bit of iridescence to them in the bright sun, if I remember correctly. And I have seen several of the adults flying around recently. And so that would explain how we have eggs. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited to see how they progress. And by the way, it turns out there are about 150 species of butterflies and skippers um, that live in, in Maryland. Um, and 
the swallowtail butterflies, there's about eight, I think I found. I didn't count the exact number, but it looked like, like eight to 10 here. And the most typical one is the yellow swallowtail, which has the beautiful um, yellow and black uh, wings. Um, another butterfly, of course, that's not swallowtail, but loves to eat dill was, um, is the monarch butterfly. And I do have butterfly weed that I need to go check now and see if there are any mutterf um, monarch butterfly uh, caterpillars on there. But uh, I'm pretty excited with this right now. Here's the butterfly weed. Not seeing any caterpillars on it at the moment, but I will definitely keep an eye out. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you aren't already a subscriber, please consider doing so as I will definitely be giving updates on these little caterpillars if and when I see them developing um, further. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you next time.